Welcome back, continuing from where we left off in the last video where we explored another building block of coding which we called selection. You remember we said selection is uh, that uh, basic building block that helps our program uh, our programs to uh, make decisions on um, what blocks to execute or what to do or, or and what not to do okay so those uh, the block the, the block gives um, our program some power that uh, gives it this air of intelligence if you like so uh, my name is still Charles I am really glad I'm taking you on this journey uh, through coding and uh, I really want you to learn as much as possible so you could have skills uh, to uh, impart to the children who really need to be up with these skills um, um, really early in life. All right. So we uh, had these blocks all put up in the last video and um, uh, where we uh, created a math quiz uh, we said the first thing to do well logically would be to ask a question and wait for an answer so scratch create uh, uh, gave us this block and gave us an answer block that answer block is uh, 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 like a box that um, takes in the the player's um, uh, reply or answer okay now after asking the question and taking in the answer this if statement gets ex executed and it says if the answer provided equals what uh, we think is the correct answer and we really need to be careful here because scratch doesn't know what the correct answer should be so we need to be on top of our game to be able to tell it what we, what the correct answer should be now I want to spend some uh, a little while and talk about this green um, block here now if you notice I took that green block out of the operators block okay set of blocks now under the operator set of blocks we have quite a number of blocks um, um, most of them are things you know the greater than block this one um, the less than block if you notice when I clicked on it it gave me um, um, a true or false thing okay so those are that's basically what those blocks do they basically um, tell us what if what's on the left hand side is in this case greater than what's on the right or if what's on the left hand side is less than what's on the right or if what's on the left hand side is equal to what's on the right so they are called boolean operators okay all these ones are boolean operators they basically compare things um, for us and 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 that's what our if statement our if statements are, are, are selection statements that um, um, choose a particular block to execute if the condition is true and if it's not true it executes what's in the else block so it makes sense right if answer equals 20 we can tell the user something so if answer equals 20 is true if the if, if the user actually puts in 20 in their reply then we could you know tell the user congratulations so if the if the answer is not equal to 20 then the else block gets executed the the block here won't get executed so let's uh, try it out and see so we're going to go to looks once more and um, 
we're going to say we're going to say yay okay we're going to say yay you're correct yay Well done. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's see how that plays out. And if the user is not correct, let's quickly duplicate that block and say... Alright, looks like my program is already running but it will have to wait until I'm done putting up the code so sorry try again okay. next time alright now let's try out our code okay uh, before we try it out, let's save our work. Okay, make sure we save our work at each point. Now, let me make sure that was put in the folder. Okay, it is in the folder. Alright, so what is the product of 2 and 10? Let's type in the right answer first and hit enter. Yay, well done. Now we're going to try this time, but we're going to enter the wrong answer. Okay. So this time I'm going to enter 76 and hit enter. Sorry. Try again next time. So our program is working. Now, a quick recap. Remember the ask block. Okay. The ask block is quite similar to the save block the only difference is the ask block puts out um, uh, a word bubble if you like and waits it waits for the answer which it puts at the bottom of the screen right here once you enter in or uh, wh whatever the user or the player of the mad quiz enters gets stored in this answer block that's why we quickly picked it after the ask uh, block and we said if what was in the answer block is equal to what we know is the answer the correct answer then we can go ahead and tell the player well done but if it's not then we could tell the player sorry try again next time so you would agree with me that if statements are really powerful, right? Now, let's see if we could add one more question to our quiz. Now, uh, you know, the next question would uh, likely be um, um, a math question too. So, I would have to um, uh, drag the ask block. Remember, the ask block is under sensing, right? remember okay now if you forgot where the where the ads block is just take a look at the color the colors of the blocks and the the category that they are under are always the same okay so they are they are always the same so instead of me to have to drag the blocks again I could simply duplicate and it duplicates everything and I could just drop it right under here see that so we could do something different what's the product of or what's the sum let's let's do some this time what's the sum of 2 and 10 so we'll be checking our answer 12 right okay so let's try it out all right what's the product of 2 and 10 that's going to be 20 enter yay well done what's the sum of 2 and 10 and that's going to be 12. Yay! 
So we're going to go into something else. Thank you for spending time with me. See you in the next.